Drea. Drea. Y'all didn't think I was done with Dre, did y'all? <clears throat> y'all didn't. There's no way that y'all thought that I was done with Drea. Did y'all think I was done? Huh? For those of you, for those of you that watched my last video on Drea Michelle and how I think that she is a absolute predator, um, it's just been confirmed. That's all, that's all that's happened. That's all that's happened. My words have found affirmation. That's all. That's all that's happening right now. And for you all that think, that believe in whole culture, for y'all that think that it's cool to be out here and to be a, a Britney Renner, to get out here and be sleazy and sleep around with whoever and be promiscuous and, and have your face in the spotlight and be with multiple men out in public all the time, spreading your legs and doing whatever. For all of y'all to think that that's cool, I just want y'all to pay close attention, all right? Because when the backlash comes, all of a sudden, y'all want to grab y'all shields, y'all want to grab y'all swords and shields and run out on the battlefield and, protect, and, try, and try to defend something. No, don't try to defend it now. Y'all advocated for, for a behavior like this, right? Y'all advocated for behavior like this, right? Men and women. I see some simp, I see some of the simp-ass men in the comments advocating for this. Talking about Jalen Green. Jay, how you know Jalen Green didn't go after Drea? Nick, shut up. Shut your goofy ass up. Of course he went after Drea. Of course he went after a pretty older woman. What young man wasn't, what wouldn't, hasn't done it in his lifetime? One young man hasn't, at some point or another, approached an older woman attempting to bust her down. That's exactly what that is. Drea just said yes. <laughs> and to prove, to prove what we're saying is fact, that Drea is a known 304. She is a known Bust down. Oh, y'all don't believe me. All right. I told y'all, man. I love when I just love when things come out later and that my words are just affirmed. But let's watch since y'all don't believe me. At the young boy. Damn. They only knew. But like I would stop too though. Like, like that day when I was riding home with Philly in the car, yeah. I don't know if I can tell that story. If you want me to tell that story. Nah, nah, she's a mother now. <laughs> she's a mother now. Yeah, we can't do that. Because that day was, that day changed my life. I ain't gonna lie. That day changed my life. That's when Swaggy P was like, okay, man, I gotta, this is what NBA is about. Um, to give you all some context about what's happening here. The gentleman on the left is Gilbert Arenas, okay? His, his basketball moniker was Agent Zero. All right. He was a very, very, very good player in the NBA. OK. And he has a very, very, very stable history with the NBA. The gentleman on the right is one Nick Young. And he, too, uh, has a basketball moniker. Swaggy P is what he was known as in the league. And he, too, was a pretty decent player. Not as good as Gilbert Arenas was, but um, both of these gentlemen have a history of the NBA and they know exactly what happens behind closed doors. See, all these little articles that come out that be speaking on what they think is happening and be speaking on the TMZ shots and the photos and stuff like that, they don't really, re they don't really know the inner workings of what be happening behind closed doors and behind the scenes. But these two gentlemen absolutely do. These two gentlemen have been around for years and decades in the NBA. They know exactly what's going on, who is screwing who, who is busting it open, who is getting bust down. They know exactly all of y'all favorites that y'all follow, which one of them is showing up to the arena to get bust down after the game afterwards. These guys know. And so what happens is when you have these situations where uh, women come out like Dre and Michelle and get with younger players, well, she's almost 40, about to pop out a kid. So if you recall in the last video, I said that she was pregnant and she denied it, right? She was telling people, calm down. Y'all don't know what y'all talking about. Well, it turns out they did know what they were talking about because your ass is pregnant and you're about to have a kid 
with a 22-year-old, which is the same age as your son. Okay, so it's been confirmed. Dre and Michelle is about to have a kid at 40 years old with a 22-year-old. With a 22-year-old who's still a kid himself, damn near. Mm. We don't have nothing. We don't have no problem with that. We don't see no problem with that. I had a person. I had a person show up in my comments with the last video I made talking about. Dog, you know, you know, Dre, how fine Dre is. You know how fine Dre is. You know how fine. You would, you would do it too. You would do it too. Bust her down. Plenty of men would. Plenty of men would. That is not the point. When are y'all gonna look behind? When are y'all gonna look beyond a person's looks and and, and look for? What type of, listen, let me ask y'all something. <clears throat> as, Because as men, we don't do this. As men, we don't look forward in the game, right? We don't look years beyond what's happening now and into the, into the lives of our sons and daughters. Imagine you bringing up and raising a daughter and knowing all the while that her mom was a bust down. And you decided to wipe the bust down and bring her home and make excuses as to why she's one, the one to keep around. Imagine trying to explain to your son that you wife the bus down. She's known in the streets everywhere for being such. And now you, as the father, got to explain to your children why their mom is being brought up out of the, out of the mouths of multiple men all over the goddamn planet. Y'all think that's cool? That's the standard that y'all want? Because she pretty? Let's hear what these gentlemen have to say. Hey, listen. I, I, hey, NBA, hey, listen, I'll let you know this is. Yeah. Well, I'm riding in the car. He in the back seat. <laughs> I turn my head. Listen again. Huh? Nah, nah. <laughs> what was you doing in that back seat, Gil? Huh? What was you doing in that back seat? Who was you in the back seat? Pregnant, pregnant. Got the young boy. You heard it from the horse's mouth. These are the type of whole facts that come forth when you have a history of being promiscuous and we think it's cool. A lot of y'all women take y'all 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 take up some y'all take that as some type of badge of honor. Cause you was in the back seat slobbing up an NBA player. That is absolutely gross. And then what happened is when the whole facts come out later, all of a sudden y'all mad that you're being held accountable, that you're being held to that light. Mm. Let me ask y'all a question. Let's do this, right? Very simple question. And if you can answer it and be honest with yourself, then you'll, you'll likely know exactly where I stand. If Jalen Green, who will be the father of Drea Michelle's child, if Jalen Green worked at Walmart, do you think that Drea Michelle would still be interested in having a child with him? Y'all let me know. Let me know in the comments, since y'all so smart. For all you simp ass niggas that show up in my comments, let me know right now if you think that Drea Michelle would still be having a kid by Jalen Green if Jalen Green was a Walmart worker on third shift packing boxes down aisle nine. Y'all let me know. Come on, dog. We got to see the writing on the wall, man. Y'all can't be this goddamn dumb and gullible. We got to stop that. Like I said, NBA players, when they, when they fresh out and when they get into the league, they get the same talk all the other players do. They get told about all of the women that's going to be promiscuous. They get told about all of the women that's going to be in their inbox, that's going to be waiting for them after the game. They get told about all of that. They get warned about all of that. And because most of y'all, many of y'all lack dick discipline, lack penile discipline, y'all forego, forego the warning. 
because you just can't help yourself to a pretty face, right? Y'all niggas just can't help yourself. You just got to go bust her down. And not even smart enough to strap up. You niggas is pathetic. That's what that is. That's what that is. Pathetic. Some pathetic shit going on out here. I gotta hey, hold the men got to the, the fight. young boy. Damn, if they only knew. But like, I was shocked too, though. Like, like that day when I was riding home with Philly in the car. Yeah. I don't know if I can tell that story. If you want me to tell that story. No, nah, no, nah, she's a mother now. <laughs> she's a mother now. Yeah, we can't do that because that day was that, that day dog. changed she's my life. Right, ain't gonna lie. I, that day changed my life. That's when Swaggy P was like, okay, man, I gotta. This is what NBA is about. I, hey, listen. I, hey, NBA. Hey, listen. I let you know this is. Yeah, I mean, I'm riding in the car. He in the back seat. <laughs> I turn my head. This nigga against. Huh? Nah, nah. <laughs> what was you doing that back seat, Gil? Huh? What was you doing that back seat? Who went to the strip club? Bring. Just to show y'all how much of a two. How how uh. <laughs> Just to show y'all how much women don't even hold themselves and hold each other accountable, I want to get into some of the comments because y'all know I like to go through some of the comments sometimes. Um, listen to this chick here. Nick, who ain't had a storyline, and God knows why he even speaking on someone, ain't even so much as uttered a word about him. 1,000 likes. Men really do gossip more than women because that's messy. 5,000 likes. Oh, it's cool to be messy when it's a woman speaking on a man. Right? It's cool to be messy then. It was cool to be messy when Yasmin Lopez was out there scratching up and spray painting cars of the, the cars in the home of another Lakers player. It's cool to be messy then, right? But this is too much. I got you. 5,000 likes. The crazy part is the shame is only put on women, but not the men for participating in the same acts. No, we shame here. We shame here, brother. That's not true. That's not true at all. We shame over here. We shame over here. I don't care what you, I don't care what male parts, what, what, what body parts you got. Whether you man or woman, we shame both. We shame both. The she's a mother now comment is crazy when she got two kids already. Yeah, she do. Here you go. Here go another one. Niggas talk so fucking much. What was the point of bringing this up? Uh, the point of bringing this up was the whole facts. It's, this, it's like the same point of y'all posting Drake's text messages. and That's cool. It's cool to be messy online about that. It's cool to be messy. You see what I mean about holding each other accountable? Nah, we don't do that over here. We don't pick and choose who we hold accountable. We hold everybody accountable over here. I don't play that shit. I don't care who you is. I don't care what you about. Man or woman. It don't matter. Everybody gets held accountable. So all y'all that's in y'all feelings, I don't give a shit. It just goes to show you, your whole facts follow you everywhere you go. So to the young women who are out here, who are able to carry themselves as a woman and not be promiscuous and sleep all around with all these different men and have themselves all over Instagram, half naked in every goddamn photo. Bless you. I hope you find everything that you're looking for in a spouse and in a mate. I'll see y'all in the next video. This is crazy.